Hi everybody, how you doing? I would like to thank you very much for coming to my channel and watching this video. I went to the Burke Museum, which was an amazing museum, and I think you all need to come. It's up in northern Seattle, so if you guys are coming to the northwest of Washington, you need to come to this museum and check it out. You do have to set up a reservation online right now, so please check it out and wait a minute, why don't we check it out together? Come on! We are here at the Burt Museum with my lovely wife. We're masked up for the day. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's going on here, right here. Here's just a little bit of the Native American part. It's pretty neat. Take a look at a little bit of this. Okay, check this out. These are some of the different canoes they used back in the old days. Now this is one of the original style canoes that uh, er before Eric the Viking went to Iceland, Bjorni uh, the monk basically went to Canada in one of these things like hundreds of years before. This was basically just a straight out dugout they chopped from a tree. <laughs> Got a lot more intricate. Now, if you guys look closely, these look a lot like Polynesian culture uh, artwork, like especially like the hats and some of the artwork, the boats, the oars, and which these guys did come up here a long time ago. They just didn't stop at Hawaii, <laughs> especially if you look at this, you know, they were everywhere in the Pacific. Huh, oh, that's neat. That's a big canoe, look at that. Oh, that is cool. It just keeps going and going and going and going. That is so cool. That's a big totem pole. Now totems for used for markers and many different sizes. That is a pretty cool outfit. <laughs> That is really well done leather work. Look at that. And oh, actually, no, that's all stitching. I thought that was leather and tanning, but that's actually stitching. See if you can see that. Wow, that is amazing. Those people are so talented. Okay, wow. Here comes some of uh, the weapons sea otter arrows. Here we go. Here we for you guys. Oh, that is amazing. I remember having to do beadwork with those, like that stuff when I was a kid. That takes a long time to make one of those. <laughs> a very long time. <laughs> I love that. That is cool. It looks like a raven suit. And there you got your type of shaws. Oh, those are just amazing. Oh, look how adorable those little guys are. <laughs> Basket weaving was really, really intense. And you notice that a lot of them uh, were also really well done in designing them too, like the click attack people. That looks neat. If you can tell, those are whales. That uh, was a baleen whale. There's a small killer whale. This was most likely, it's like a sperm whale. Oh, these are awesome. Okay. Arctosis grizzly bear. Some of these things were pretty huge. Oh, 
this is an elephant. And this is kind of the reason why they thought of a cyclops, they think. It looks like kind of a horrific creature. <laughs> now there's a hippo. Those teeth are usually a lot bigger, like up to here. Then you got a pangolin, which a lot of people blamed on stuff, but those things, their immunity systems are extremely tough. I mean, they walk around and poop. And there is one of the most deadliest creatures on the planet, the male platypi. Got a little tiny toe, little spike on the toe back there, her foot. Mainly it's to, you know, kill his rivals, but it helps to, you know, stab the people who are trying to eat you. <laughs> That's so trippy. This is cool. This is a cladogram. Complete story of life. And that is an amoeba uh, prokaryote cell. Some moss, leaves, pine cone, flowers. Okay, here you go. I'll show you how to read these. Okay, that's basically what it looks like. So, yeah, it's sponge. Oh, oh, that's weird looking. There's a rhinoceros beetle right there. <laughs> Ooh, look at that lamprey. I'd hate to get eaten by some of this stuff. Especially that one. And seahorses. These are the creatures where the males get pregnant. Oh, so yeah, they are slimy. <laughs> These are salamanders and frogs and amphibians. And then we got your lion, cougar, tiger, leopard. Clouded leopard, ocelots, <laughs> domestic cats. Oh, look at that snake. Always thought their skeletons looked so neat. Oh, this is really neat. These are basically the mollusks. That is so neat looking. Chinooks. And then you got gigantic gator up there. Oh, that's an orca. That's kind of like the top of the food chain in the sea. This is marine water sample. I think. See if we can see it better. That's so neat. <coughs> See, I always wanted a badger. It looks so cute and adorable. Yes. So, like, the mammals. I wonder what skull that is. Oh, it's a dolphin? Yeah. Oh, that is so neat. So cool. Normally I'd probably be thrown up by now if I was watching TV. <laughs> My wife loves those operation shows. It's like, oh. And there's some, uh, it's like barbecue. Mm. That's, that's what we're thinking. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's one thing I love making is desiccated mammal flesh. <laughs> That's why I tell people, I was like, hey, you want some homemade desiccated mammal flesh? They're like, what? <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, and then you don't want the jerky. They're like, I like jerky. I was like, then you like desiccated mammal flesh. And they're like, no. <laughs> That's so fun to mess with people. 
that is so neat. Oh, that's a fisher. Ah. Those things love porcupines. A fisher? Yeah, this little rodent thing. They're actually, they climb up trees and they'll like literally jump in to like knock the porcupines over and just grab them and just tear them apart from the under. There we go. How does life get around? Defend. Eat. Walk. Jump. Notice they don't have a Sasquatch exhibit in here. Dang it. I remember I used to play with those when I was a kid. Gardener snakes. <laughs> that is one big albatross. <laughs> I mean, he's got a wingspan of an easy seven feet, seven and a half. Ooh, rhino. That would be kind of nice to have a rhino to ride around on. Except uh, during the day, he kind of sucks. He's blind as a bat during the daytime. <laughs> oh, that is neat. The Dinosaurs of the Burke Museum. Please, yes, sir. I'd love to have one of these as a pet. Keep my moat safe. <laughs> okay, this is the dinosaur exhibit. <coughs> that is a big leggy. Who's this guy from? Oh, it's just a sauropod. Most likely a brontosaur. That was a tree at one point. Dino or not a dino is because of an echo. That looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, something you don't want to be looking at you when you are in the water. Oops. You can't really see, but that is a monster. Porpoises and sea lions. Oh, that's an ancient horse. Uh -huh. Uh, that's a whale. Not a small whale. That is so cool. Look at the vertebrae. That's a Smilodon, or a saber tooth lion. <laughs> that was maybe one of his prey. <laughs> Think about that, we used to try to attack these guys when we were young, or our people were kind of crazy. Ugh, that's big. Imagine here sitting there with a little spear going, yeah, used uh, dinosaurs and stuff. Uh, there's a triceratops, look at that. This guy had some nasal capacity. If you notice, you see all those blood veins working in there and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I would be terrified if this thing was coming at me at 12 and a half miles an hour. I mean, geez. That tooth is at least about five inches long, probably six in the jaw. Yeah, Greg would be a snack. <laughs> There you go, check this out. Check out that long whip-like tail. Now theropods are extremely good at running, mainly because of, I wish I could focus in is that little area there and that hip bone area. That also helps out they have a long tail <laughs> to balance all this stuff off. Look at that, and this is a stegosaur. Of course, everybody knows what a stegosaur is. And they had an attitude too. <laughs> Now this is most likely an allosaur. 
Let's see. Yeah, so that is just crazy to just, I, I would really, oh my gosh, that would be so crazy. So the ones in Jurassic Park, those stegosaurus were kind of short compared to this guy. Or this one's short compared to the other one. So, so that is so awesome. Oh, I didn't even see those guys up there. I have an ichthyosaur and a large seal. Wow. And this is where the real archaeology magic happens. See that? Look at that. Oops. Let me see if I can zoom in. That's how they protect their stuff is be a plaster. And then they cut it open. And then, then they start a long time coming to get it from that big bounded dirt and stuff to something like this. And then what they'll do is they'll cast them. And then they'll put these ones away. And then put the other ones on display. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, there we go. Dimetrodon means two toothed oh that is neat that almost looks like a sculpture <laughs> like a battle sculpture <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Ooh, see and then they've got their little dirts so tune in to the Burke Museum and learn more at, at Burke Museum oh this one's cool what was this? Uh, oh, that's an ancient shark. Xenocathus. Oh, an ichthyosaur. Yep, see? Ichthyosaur. This thing is huge. Basically, it's like a giant dolphin like dinosaur. They didn't really have to, you know, fear much, but there was some things like the. Leas are way up there. Oops. Oh, that is neat. Okay, that is a whale. That is a long bugger. And I know, sorry about the brightness. Yep, yeah, this is a mastodon. Now, if you notice, that leg is a lot like an apatosaur leg. If you notice it, Looks kind of a little different, but same. Okay, that was an amazing tour in the Burke Museum. So if you're ever here up in the Seattle, Washington area, make sure you get your reservations first for this place and come and visit. They got great dinosaurs. Glad to see you and thank you for watching. And please to remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And you can always please send me comments. I'll enjoy reading them and talk to you back. Bye. Have a great day. For, and thank you for watching.